The Mahau strike has had a dire impact on already strained healthcare services here in South Africa. While the department has obtained an interdict against the strike, Health Minister Dr. Joe Patla says several deaths could be directly linked to it. This mass action comes amid numerous challenges faced by facilities across the country, including, ironically, staff shortages. For more on this, we're joined this morning by the Chairperson of Parliament's Select Committee on Public Service and Administration. Kenneth Moimang joins us via our video link this morning. Uh, Kenneth, great to see you. Thanks very much for coming on. This issue of capacity constraints in the public service only made worse by a strike like this um, by workers in the healthcare sector. Surely the select committee is incredibly concerned about it. Uh, good morning, Michelle, and uh, good morning to the viewers of, uh, of, of, of the uh, newsroom. Uh, indeed, uh, as the select committee, uh, uh, we are looking uh, forward to the uh, resolution of this impasse between the between Yahoo and, and, and the employer. Uh, of course, uh, we we take comfort from the from the uh, uh, call called by the uh, public service coordinating by the council. Uh, for all parties involved in the public service wage negotiations uh, to return to the bargaining council so that the negotiations can continue and ultimately find the uh, find resolution. Kenneth, um, can I ask, in terms of the, um, the job of the Select Committee on Public Service and Administration, when it comes to the issue of challenges faced by workers in, in the public service, which have been raised by um, Nehal, which is one of the unions raising those challenges. You know, how does the select committee hold the executive to account insofar as, you know, workers' issues, grievances need to be addressed, but that doesn't mean that services in the public sector come to a standstill? Uh, what, what is quite critical for, from ourselves was the select committee. Uh, we were mainly more concerned about uh, uh, the extent to which to which uh, the targets are set by the by the uh, uh, medium term strategic framework and uh, translated into SONA and also the departmental strategic plans and the annual performance plan is translated into a concrete program of action. And at the, at the, at the NERF center of that is the extent to which uh, the, the workhouse must be able to ensure that the, that uh, uh, such mandates are executed and uh, they are executed in, in a manner in which uh, uh, policy imperatives as outlined in the National Development Plan are translated into concrete uh, uh, activities and uh, uh, finally to ensure that uh, the output is quite good. And uh, uh, definitely when there is an impasse of, of this nature, to a larger degree, it affects the, the final uh, uh, output and outcome of uh, such 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 uh, a broader strategy goals, and uh, therefore it becomes critical uh, to us as the as the as select committee as we continue to 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 work to ensure that uh, such resolutions uh, are, 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 are brought to, to the table. Uh, of course, uh, uh, in the midst of the discussions. Uh, an interface with the department. Uh, uh, issues around the, the bloated uh, 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 public uh, services been raised, uh, but, but more than that also, uh, in our interface uh, with such uh, uh, matters, we also uh, uh, listen to, to, to what is the government saying. At, at, at the center of, uh, of, of the government's approach uh, is the uh, financial uh, sustainability and also the ability of our fiscal to be able to, to
to absorb uh, some of the the demands that are put on the table by the workers. I will remember that uh, uh, <clears throat> the center of the, of, of the uh, attention is the fact that the union have the view that the government must rethink its uh, 3% wage increase for the 22-23 financial year. Uh, but uh, also remember that from the government side, it's not, it was not only just that 3%. But more than that also, it was uh, uh, an additional 1,000 uh, non-pensionable uh, 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 cash allowance until the end of March, as well as uh, 1.5 pay progression to qualifying employees. So therefore, the view that uh, uh, given the, the, the constraints in our, in, 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 and, and also the abilities of our fiscals to absorb uh, the already uh, 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 700 billion that is uh, uh, a cost driver and also just a, an item in terms of our, of our budget. It becomes critical that uh, uh, such negotiations uh, are finally brought to an end so that uh, there can be no further constraints in terms of delivery of services to our mm. people. Yeah. Uh, the professionalization of the public service is um, an important issue uh, insofar as that is concerned. In fact, there are two key initiatives that are still underway. Uh, one is the Public Service Act Amendment Bill, um, which is, I understand, before Parliament, and the other is the Draft Public Service Commission Bill, which is yet to be tabled. But let me thank you for your time this morning. Kenneth Moimang is the chairperson of the Select Committee on Public Service and Administration.